Hey there, everyone. This is Algal playing Fragile Dreams, and uh, thank you for pointing it out because I somehow it hadn't cotton to that. A lot of the graffiti that were left by Crow are actually quotes from the pirate book. So while he's being a weirdo and a pest, he's probably just lonely. <laughs> this is the reality. And he's excited about seeing a human, like a real human, and does not know how to process. Hey, we're back here. We did a big old loop. Oh. Okay. Well, a cutscene is I'm here. I'm impressed you made it here. Yeah, honestly, Bravo. so am I. <laughs> Crow, <laughs> He's on the Ferris wheel. Give me back my locket. You're not even looking at the right place. Oh, there you go. You found him. Huh? You're still going on about that? Save your griping for after you beat him. Oh, wait, is this boss zone time? He was so dramatic about it. Oh, geez. Hey, it's mask face. Where's my weapon? Uh, press, I, I'm, I'm not playing Night of the Sonic Round. Yeah. I'm playing Battle Dream. Yeah. It's not waggle, yeah. it's buttons. Yeah. You're, oh, I can see your health and everything. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You got the big old jellyfish behind you. Wow, you are. Masks? Not known for their prowess in war, perhaps. Well, I don't know, man. Crash? 3 had the powerful mask battle. Oh, jeez. But it was a powerful battle between masks. Yeah, it's true. Oh, jeez. You're really annoying. Maybe this is when you're supposed to bring out uh, the catapult, the slingshot. I don't think I'm holding it anymore. Did you see that, Crow? I just swung my... Okay. Now that that takes some guts. Ha ha ha! Catch me if you can! I mean, you don't... Okay, here, come and get me! You just can just jump. Come on! Like, that's what's gonna happen. Back. Yeah, there we go. Oops, almost. Man, you're pretty stupid, you know that? You're so dumb. I bet you can't catch a cold. Oh, <laughs> idiot. Oh, no. No, he's smiling. Maybe he doesn't care. Well, ugh. Crow. To be fair, we survived kind of that kind of fall, too, Seto. Oh, that slide, though, was cute. Crow. Crow's gonna be fine. He was not scared at all. He's just Crow. faking it. Or he's dazed. Or, uh, this is really dead, are you? stretching it out. Answer me! Crow! <laughs> Just stretching it out? Jeez, what yeah, a racket you you're making! There you go. Quit blubbering already, will ya? And for your information, I've never cried a day in my entire life. I'm willing to believe you. You're alive. You're alive. Thank goodness. Yep. You win. I give up, okay? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then he just shoots him. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> But it's not going to happen, so... Will we know what... Oh, well, maybe we'll know what Crow's deal is. Listen, I got to see your special thing, so I'll show you mine. Take a look. Well, well, well. Another old man, small child. Crow, is that you? Situation. It's funny. To be honest, I really don't have any memories of my entire childhood. That's why I think that if I can somehow get to the place in this photo, I might learn about my past. Does he have animal eyes? I think he does. But it's hard. Slithered eyes. I've been trying to find it for the longest time. It's near where we are now. I... I can... feel it. Actually, I'm on a search too, for a silver-haired girl. Silver-haired? Yeah. You don't happen to know who she is, do you? Hmm. I love the mesh of metals that Crow's nope. wearing. 
It's really silly. I see. Wait, hold on a second. There is someone. I don't know if she had silver hair or not, but sometimes there's this real bratty girl I keep running into at the hotel. At the hotel? No, I can't be certain. I've never spoken to her, but maybe, just maybe she might be able to help you out. Great. Okay, then I'll go see if I can find her. Go for it. I'm gonna keep searching for the place in the photo. You're not gonna... I guess we both have to make up for a lot of wasted time, huh? And whose fault was that? Hey, I already told you I was sorry. So... Will I... I'm a... L Do you think I'll ever see you again? I'm a little... Yeah, of course <laughs> we will. Friends always I'm a little see each other again. narratively annoyed, though. Now. Frustrated? Because... Uh, oh, yeah. Another thing friends My always do is give Sido each other presents. Should absolutely besides, have mentioned the red tower. Make up for being mean to you and stealing to something of yours. And um, and Here, then oh, that's pretty this. rad. And then you know they could like travel a together with a silver skull. Like it's clear that both of these people. You better keep it safe in your locket. Uh, okay. could use a slightly more permanent companionship. Well, thank you. Oh, geez, okay. <laughs> that went out of nowhere. What the? Did you just... Did I? What was that? Yes, you did What's die. Wrong? We're friends now. And friends give each other kisses. Right? <laughs> I read that. <laughs> that was my first kiss ever. Oh. Well, hey. Huh. Could be worse. Well, then I guess that makes me your number one buddy. Best friends. Right? My best friend? Yeah. We're friends now. You bet. <laughs> you know, like, that's uh, fair. Uh, these two have not have had no. the chance... I'm off. ...to be raised in a... Right quote unquote like normal community yeah. right by then they just kind of try to figure things out by whatever clues about what society used to be uh depending on what reading material crow has well yeah oh it's because i haven't touched any buttons or anything in a hot second that's right the Wemo just disconnects if you Anytime don't do I'm anything alone, for a while. I think about how there's someone out there feeling the same way as me. At this very moment, there are innumerable people just like me. I wonder the world. how unnumerable this number actually is. Could easily make two of us friends. But this is true if you're talking in so real life. Simple. So effortless. Yeah, it's, it's the merry-go-round. Not the Ferris wheel. I've never revealed the Ferris wheel's behind him, though. And I never will. I promise. I swear. Tonight. Under the blue moon. From beneath this dilapidated... This reminds me a lot Ferris of... Wheel. Like, the color saturation of Harsh Contracts reminds me a lot of the visuals you'd see in Medica Magica. Like, just shaft stuff in general. Anyways, gotta find a hotel now. Is that friendly robot gonna help? Robot, where is the hotel? Can I use the skull ring to help me out? I doubt it. This is a door, right? Maybe. <laughs> Was that door always there? Here's the forest! Okay, sure. Hey, everything is green now instead of blue. I mean, that's an, an, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> All right. So, how is my inventory looking? I am right, sure I'm fine. Swooping it in the jungle. You can hear like so. Yeah, this is like a loud buzz of sounds and bugs. I want to read a sign to use. This sign, please. Lunar here. Okay, caught the hotel. There you go. 30 meters away. We're on our way. Whoa, big lump. That's right. Lumps on the ground. Well, I mean, it is after the apocalypse. Nature is flourishing. 
There's a hotel right there. It's boarded up. There's more path here. I'm a little bit curious. What does the map has to say? Um, the map suggests that it's not really going much further than that. Even if I, if, even if I did a little bit of this. Even if I did. I can't crawl under any of that. Definitely can't climb over that. We'll get his pants dirty. So off we go! Uh, that building sure has seen better days. But you know what, that's to be expected. I'm gonna try and whack at this a little bit. It's boarded up. I wanted to give it a whack and said he gave it a knock. Is this chicken bird gonna be here? Oh, I better warm up. And the cold is back. Hey, he's not. Alright, honestly, good. Alright, so what's my inventory looking like? Yeah, I don't... You're, you take up space, so... You get in there. I can keep two candies, though, because if I find something and I don't have enough space, I can just eat it. That's fine. So, alright, fair enough. Not doing more than that. We are now February the 2nd. Uh, the 1st. It's because February is the second month, so I got mixed up. Dates are difficult. I mean, I don't know. I wonder if this crow scene would have made more sense after our, like, all our fun times with him. Or having it, like, a video removed if it matters too much. But I'm pretty happy to, like, sort of, like, have that scene. And then immediately moving on to this next chapter in our adventure. I think makes thematical sense. Wow. Yeah, so screen tearing is pretty wild on my screen, but on OBS it's not happening at all. However, it is a little bit more studier, stutterer -er in OBS than it is for me here, where it is not at all. That's strange. Ooh, what's this? Can I? Can I? I don't know. It's just a sun drawing. All right. Oh, there's our way in. That is, there's even a nice little access ramp in case anyone has a. Uh, you know, mobility needs. So that's good. Uh, but we're still gonna see there's a little cat. I'm not holding any cat toys right now, little cat. But I am gonna shine my flashlight right in your face. Good. Glad that we understand each other. Yeah, like I played with a cat once. I feel like I got the gist of it. Can I open this door from here? It won't budge. That settles that. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. I get ya, little buddy. Just kind of that sounded more like a yawn than a meow. To be fair, cats yawn, but they don't make sound during those. You just open their maw real wide. You can see all their teeth and their jagged tongue. Just a display. All right, another fire pet immediately. Just in case. Um, alright, so we got this room here. I'm not gonna take it now. Because like, I just have no reason to. Oh, oh no. Uh, here we go. Hey, mystery item. I couldn't even see it. What's going on here? So it's your shadow. That's like a monster. So the bratty girl that lives there might either have an evil ghost or sell sees itself as an evil ghost. Alright, I cannot get a translation for what's written there. Fair enough. So I guess we're not taking the elevator. It's a pretty good stack of uh, seats. High quality stacking. Very happy to... Oh, giggles. Alright. Good start. What was that? Sounded like a voice. It was a voice. Fictive Seto on the case. All right, find that voice. Oh, there's definitely some reverb to that voice. All right, well, it came from somewhere over here, definitely. That's the entrance. We've got you all. Dummy, you're wasting your time searching here. Good. Okay, so once again, we've got a friendly people around here. Wonder if that's sort of like what the game is. I'm gonna go like from kinda jump from companion to companion as we figure out what people are. Yeah. Oh. 
Well, ah, uh, you guys, you idiots. You guys are so annoying to fight. I don't like y'all. Ugh. I can just disappear and sleep. Like, I don't have to fight you. Ugh. Oh, wait, I saw something shiny in there, though. That, I'm interested. All right, you guys keep giggling and tramsing around. Just gonna go here and pick this up. That's right, mystery item. It's mine. It was behind the counter all this time. All right, you guys keep having fun. Did I scare you? Not really. Like I've been encountering actual ghosts, including like right here. Uh, it kind of limited the impact of your big spooky boo. Not gonna lie. Whoa! Can you not see that? It's like right there. All right, there you go. Getting all the mystery items. Let's go upstairs. Don't come this way. I'm coming this way. I'm doing the opposite of your request. That's right. I kind of thought it would be a map transition, but there was not. Uh, oh, I thought that was a bug. If anything happens, there's nobody to save you. Oh, good. You're on your own. But yeah, it do well, didn't expect to cut her off there. <laughs> Crying person, TV. Yeah, checks out. All right, it's probably gonna be an enemy here. <laughs> Like, this is why this exists. It's to experience some crying. Oh! Jeez. Got some spike problems behind. Okay, I'm not where I should be. Alright. Oh no! You you are, dude. That's just what you do. But then you got an eyeball on your back. That's pretty messed up. And I'm bad. There's something very jellyfishy about you. How am I missing you constantly? Oh jeez. I might die. Alright, that's cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat candy. That's fine. You know what? I might eat both of them. Here we go. Yes, I will use this. Like, I might not need to be doing this, but I am. I know I'm carrying two. And so I ate both. Because, uh, I... Okay. Like, you got, like, this counter spin move that's... Oh. You get in... Yeah, when it looks around, it has its eye open. There you go. There you go. I figured it out. Um, and I did it. <laughs> I destroyed a crying lady with an eyeball on her back. Didn't get much out of it. But we got a fresh experience. Sometimes, that's all that's needed. Alright, now she, the girl that's taunting me did say I would maybe regret it or whatever. I did kind of cut her off and it was very rude. Now I'm going indoors. Like, I'm almost dead, so I'm not gonna stay here for long. I mean, it's just jellyfish, but still. Let's not take unnecessary risks. Alright, this seems like a good idea. Um... No trace of laughing girl yet. <laughs> this is, uh... Feedies. That's where they live. Just legs. I don't want to fight be though. Careful. Lots of scary things lie ahead. No, I noticed. Like, unless the whole purpose is to do a full exorcism of the place. Okay, so I'm not ready for that. Hey, hey, check it out. Ah, mystery item. I'm getting full of those. Here's a television. Cannot interact with television. Probably for the best. See, there you go. I'm now loaded up on mysteries. And, uh, no. You might never leave again. Are you sure you want to go on? I mean, at this point, <laughs> at this po uh, it's locked. All right. And here is a very... Uh, the cats and the mall were better. And I cannot activate the elevator. The elevator is broken. So I went in all the doors here, I think. I think. I might have missed one without noticing. And I don't really know what to do about... Listen to me. Oh, it can it still go up. Dangerous in here. Sounds great. We're in the loading zone. I wouldn't mind sitting down by a fire. 
Alright, I'm going back to the fireplace. Alright, well, this is a good heal and <sighs> find things out. I'm tired. This boy's tired. Nice surprise. Oh, is it? Alright, so what do we got? Strange red drink. Ooh, okay. An attack plus potion. That's exciting. Key to the chapel. We got oh. the green light, Dad. Alright, that they said we're key. free to use it. Is that so? Ooh, we got a dialogue in this key. Yeah, look. They even gave me the key to the chapel. This is okay with you? I know the hotel staff already said they wanted to spend their last moments on their own. And I doubt we'll have any guests. Well, I expected as much, but all the same. Trust me, it'll be fine. Just you, me, and her. The three of us is all we need. Oh, almost forgot. Sorry to ask you this, Dad, but could you tell her that we can hold the ceremony? You want me to do it? You know how it goes. It's bad luck for the bride and groom to see each other before the wedding. It's a tradition. I'm sorry to pull this on you, but I'd really appreciate it. All right, then. Thanks, Dad. This... <laughs> I owe you one. I mean, I get what's happening. But at the same time, I feel like I'm missing some well, pieces you're here. making me blush. All right, sounds nice enough. Here's a ring pillow. Father? Everything worked out at the hotel. They All said right. we can hold the wedding there. Really? That's wonderful. I'm so happy. What's that? A ring pillow. What's that? <laughs> Your son brought it over and told me to use it in the ceremony. Oh, it's the pillow upon which the ring is I'm sorry, placed. But it okay. just looks so familiar to me. <laughs> Not oh, the kind of you. thing I really think about. Don't tell me you've forgotten. <sighs> Wait a second. Is that the same one we used? None other. It's the same one you used on your wedding day. See, here's your initials embroidered on it. Huh. Is that something people... I guess some people could preserve that. Well, be. Is this something I've it's never funny. thought about? Who'd have ever guessed I'd have your wife's initials? No, this is getting weird. I'm so sorry it had to end up like this. Please, don't say things like that. There's nothing to apologize for. I really am happy. <laughs> when it comes down to it, I'm getting a whole new family. Stepdad is apologizing for her to marry into his family. New family. That's huh. all right. Like I said, Father, there are key pieces missing. I just want to thank you so much. Is it weird to call your step parents as if they were parents? It's something I've seen in media before. So I don't think it's super weird, but I don't think it's ever it's anything more. I've personally encountered. For raising such a fine son. And... For accepting me. I just know we'll be happy. Look at that. Hey. Here's a torn picture. One. Where did you come from? Oh, this is completely different. Where are you going? I'm sure you come from someplace I don't know. Going someplace I can't follow. When I was 12, oh. I came down with a terrible fever that attacked my nervous system. I survived somehow, but lost the use of my legs. Jeez, that is... <laughs> Before I was paralyzed, okay. I'd always dreamed of becoming a prima ballerina. I loved dancing before an audience and basking in their praise. My parents would tell me my smile lit up the room, kindling the fire of pride that burned so bright in my young heart. I can't look back on this time in my life without bringing up Mal. <laughs> I shouldn't find this funny, but Mal I am. was a neighborhood boy. And yeah, Mal is a playmate. normal name. It's fine. We shared our dreams, so full of hope for what the future held. Mao aspired to become a botanist. Do you know what genes are? They're what determine the color of flowers in the nucleus of their cells. I'm going to study genetics and engineer a flower with a color like the world's never seen before. Sweet. I drew a picture that combined both of our dreams. It showed me as a beautiful woman dancing in the middle of a field of mouse flowers. 
His creations looked like bellflowers that were snow white by day and that glowed blue at night. I called them lantern blossoms. And this led to the apocalypse somehow. When the stars came out, Probably they not. would light up, making the field a stage all my own. A flower that changes color depending on the time of day? When I tried to show Mel the picture I had drawn, he pursed his lips and gave a slight frown as he thought it over. I admit, it sounds interesting. I could see it happening. White by day, blue at night, was it? Maybe for the tiny window of time when the sun's going down, it could burn a dark red. Like, like flowers are already programmed to react to sunlight, so it's not that far of a reach. Mal had given a most wonderful addition to my idea. I considered it, it also a sounds like a total to goober. Me. I was so happy. My name is Akane, which means dark red in Japanese. Mel was a pushover of a boy. He was the butt of the other kids' jokes and victim to their pranks. Is, is Akane really? Does that mean dark red? Like, for some reason, I see it a lot associated with, like, They'd toss his glasses ninja in ladies. Or hide oh, them in the blackboard erasers. That's just mean. However, I was the only one who'd get furious at them, while Mal would rejoice in the fact that they didn't break the lenses. He just wiped them clean and put them back on. The boys would think he was being cheeky and tease him all over again. But Mal refused to ever let them get to him. Mal's head Man, there's was a lot of text in that torn piece of paper. <laughs> So the boys' taunts registered as no more than the meaningless buzz of insects. Meanwhile, I spent all my time worrying about the bullying and helping him find his glasses. We'd eat lunch together and partner up during gym class. Still, over time it became apparent that my attentions meant less and less to Mal. In fact, it was only when he talked about genetics or what determined colors and flowers that he would truly come alive and his eyes would sparkle with excitement. Yeah, no, dude has is, uh, you know. As far as Mal was concerned, I was little more than a mirror for him to talk to about his dreams. I could see how that would be frustrating for this young lady, but that's just how some people be. Fancy meeting you here. A splendid surprise. All right, we're in a new area, but it seems that this is the new area take. Yeah, hope. I don't, I'm not sure what my rejuvenation item situation is. I know I have a ton of soup have I can load nice up on. Day. I'm starting to think that maybe candy isn't worth keeping anymore. Let's look at the hand. I guess it's gonna be the end because that message ended up taking forever. I just cannot fathom a world where I use this. <laughs> like, I... I mean... Like, it takes up a lot of valuable space here that I kinda need, you know? Okay, so I do not have any more... Any more candy. That's interesting. Also... Interesting to see... Oh no, this goes even bigger than zoom out. Oh, it zooms out even further. Okay. See, this gives us an idea of the size of things. Of the inventory and the size of things. These will never get used. That's funny. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll pick up some old soup. One instance of old soup should be good, right? I can put this here. And this thing I can put beside it like that. Actually, I should reverse them. There we go. So I get this thing here. Hopefully it's enough um, space. And so if I do consume that old lunch, like we don't get the weird shape. That's basically why I'm doing that. And yeah, so things are getting a little bit deadlier. My levels are getting higher. And yeah, so to finally get to something I was getting at at some point, I wonder, uh, wrong. I wonder if the game will be kind of sort of like that. It will be Seto sort of piggybacking from would-be companion to would-be companion. Going from frame to crow to now it's going to be this lady here. 
and sort of experiencing different kinds of bonds with different people. Because meanwhile, you get a whole lot of, you know, side messages and little side, little tidbits of stories of other people dealing with other people in the different ways that goes, both in the negative and the positive. There's definitely a theme.